Let's turn our attentions now then, shall we, to the Premier League. Four matches today, 1-1 between Burnley and Sheffield United. It was a 2-2 draw between Newcastle United and West Ham. West Ham letting Newcastle back into the game twice. Meanwhile, Liverpool with a 2-0 victory over Aston Villa. Uh, we'll start though at St Mary's. Southampton beating Manchester City by one goal to nil. Don Shacker and Stevie with us. Stevie, big deal? I, I think it's a big deal because of what's going on defensively for City. I, I don't think it's a big deal that they have a thousand chances mm. and can't score because the, you are going to have a day like that. So that's not a huge deal for me, really. The biggest problem is watching them defensively. I mean, the goal they, the goal they lost was, was a, an individual mistake. No surprise coming from Man City. And of course... They could have lost two or three other goals uh, when when Southampton were breaking against them because they just don't know how to organise themselves. They don't have anybody leading them. They don't have anybody telling somebody to go to the ball. They're just a shambles. That that is the biggest problem, I think. When you when you watch this game today, that's the big worry. Uh, Don, as much as you can talk about the fact that City gave the ball away in midfield for the only goal of the game, it was one heck of a finish. It was a brilliant finish from Che Adams, his first in Southampton shirt and. And I think it was interesting when he scored the goal, I think all the Southampton players sort of ran across to the coaching staff because they've obviously worked on that. They've worked on trying to press Man City. And when Man City have got the ball at the back, Edison sort of comes quite central and the two centre-offs then split. So obviously when they lose the ball in a dangerous area, Southampton was setting traps for them all afternoon. But what a finish from Che Adams. I mean, I don't think he'll score a better one in a Southampton shirt. You would have saved that when you shank? <laughs> Yeah, because that would have been on my line. That, 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 that's, that's the difference. Uh, Edison, just give him how City plays, and, and he sits right in behind the back four, and um, is a, a super keeper plus an extra couple of yards. So as a result, it, he's off his line, well off his line. And Adam sees that, he knows that. Southampton, I think, know that as well. But he takes it so well. Let, let's take nothing away from, from the finish. I thought it was simply fantastic. We saw City make quite a few changes for this game, Stevie. It's almost like a, a pre-season now leading up to the return of the Champions League. If you're Pep, how do you play this rotation game? I think you just keep doing what you're doing. I think when it comes to the, to the FA Cup semi-final, you have to put your best mm. team on the park because I think it's important with the Champions League coming up that they just continue to play. Uh, and if they get knocked out of the FA Cup, it means they're going to have a couple of weeks off some, somewhere along the line before they, they play Real Madrid. So I think that's important, but no. Listen, with the possession and the way he played today, and you think of the, the changes that he made, and then when you can bring people like De Bruyne on and, and Foden, I mean, regardless of who he plays, they're, they're, they're a team that nobody wants to play against. How concerned, though, would you be about Gabriel Jesus' form, Don? I've got him in my fantasy team. I just don't know. I just can't drop him because I think he's going to score at some stage. Surely, with Kun Aguero injured, yet since, since Aguero has gone off, hey, Jesus has started, he hasn't scored. No, I think he's one of these footballers where I think you'd give him a lot of time because you know that his attitude is good, he's, he's infectious the way he closes down. Um, everything about his game is really good. Um, but for a centre forward, when you're trying to replace Aguero, you know, one of the Premier League's best ever strikers, he's not on that level. He might even get to that level, but doesn't make him a bad player. But you can see the more the game went on today, he actually didn't even want half the chances. We've all been there when we were having a bad game, whether it's Shakri in goal or Stevie or myself. You know, when you're having a dip in form, you know, you just need a tap in. You just need something to go for you. And I think he's a streaky striker. What he is, is, is when he scores, I think his confidence levels will come back extremely high very quickly. But at the minute, you can actually see in his body language, he's going through one. City confident Aguero will be back for the Champions League. If he's not, though, Shaka, how much of an obstacle could this be for City going forward in this tournament if Jesus starts? I, I think it's huge. We've said this. I, I don't think he's, he's the replacement for Kun Aguero. And listen, that, that's a big pair of shoes to fill for, for anybody. Give him how good Kun Aguero is, give him the, the clinical finisher um, that, that he continues to show uh, he is. But Gabriel Jesus just, just isn't that. And as you, he goes through real peaks and troughs. The trouble is the peaks are just too short. The troughs are, are a little bit too long. And, and Don is right. He's infectious. He works hard. But he, he's just not the kind of finisher that City needs to go far in the biggest competition in, in European football, where chances are at a premium. 
when chances are at a premium, you need the instinctive finishing of Kun Aguero. You can't rely on Gabriel Jesus having a good day because those are, are becoming too few and far between. Is that harsh, Davey? No. No, not at all. And, and it's, it's, it's unfortunate, whether it's Jesus or anybody else that steps on the field and, re and trying to replace Aguero, you, you're, going to, you, you're going to be compared. And there's no other way to go up to, to say it than, than the truth. And, and what Shaka said is spot on. You know, he does not do the things that, that Aguero does. Uh, and he's not as smooth as Aguero. I mean, again, I'm, I'm sitting here comparing him again because it's impossible not to. He's just... There's not too many people that can replace Aguero, let's be honest. Uh, but the one thing we do know is, is that Jesus isn't going to do it. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.